the news director of KLEM in Lamar's. Uh, Dennis, what do you know about the case? Tell us what happened. Well, essentially what you've already said, uh, the mother dropped off the three-year-old daughter at a daycare provider, which I understand the daycare provider did not have a daycare license, so it may have been just almost like a babysitting service, if you will. But apparently what we know from the police reports that have been filed is that the daycare provider, uh, whose name is Rochelle Sapp, 33-year-old, said that the daughter, or the three-year-old girl, fell down the stairs. That was her initial story. Uh, she called up the mother. The mother came, rushed the daughter to the hospital, to the Orange City, Iowa hospital. Then it was airlifted to Sioux Falls, to a uh, children's, Sanford Children's uh, Hospital there. And unfortunately, as you mentioned, three days oh. later, the, the child then has I, You know, Dennis, I, I'm just looking at these pictures of this child. Liz, let me see this little girl. Her name is Autumn Algersma, and she's just absolutely beautiful. Look at that smile. Look at this girl. I, I, I just can't take it in. That the babysitter, a daycare service, and, and what Dennis Morris is saying is she's not licensed to be daycare. That's what, because in that jurisdiction, if you've got five or under children, you're not licensed as a daycare. That's how many children she kept in her home. She gets a call. Mommy gets a call. Mommy's at work. That there's something wrong with her daughter, that she fell downstairs. This doesn't look like a two-story home to me. I don't know what stairs she's talking about. But this child, unresponsive. Uh, Justin Fryman, what were the injuries that we know of right now? The child suffered a fractured skull and brain trauma. And it was mm -hmm. those injuries that tipped police off that there was more than just an accident here. Brain trauma. Out to Dr. Michelle Dupree, medical examiner, forensic pathologist. Dr. Dupree joining me out of Columbia, South Carolina. Fractured skull, brain trauma from getting thrown down on the, pushed down on the floor for not putting, taking her coat off. I don't, I'm not buying that. This girl is three years old. Let me see how tall she is. She's probably about th three feet tall. How can you die from getting pushed down from three feet? I, I don't believe it. She beat her. I guarantee you, doctor, this child was beaten. Nancy, you know, we have to look at the injuries, and you're probably right. Um, being thrown down, maybe she picked her up and threw her down. I mean, I really don't know, but you can certainly get a skull fracture, swelling, a brain trauma from being thrown down, even um, an adult just throwing a child down. You know, and even if so, uh, Justin Fryman, they, first she lies and says the girl falls down steps. How did we get to the, the little girl wouldn't take her coat off part? Where did that come from? That's when police went and re-interviewed the babysitter. And then she had changed her story and said she got frustrated by the girl not wanting to take her coat off and slammed her to the floor.